little better investigation music. Dead before the blast, obviously. Victim had been stabbed a single time with a knife, which went completely through the body. And had also been struck in the head with an object about as thick as a metal pipe. Covered with other wounds that were at least several days old. Yeah, we don't have an ID on the victim. and automatically whisked off to the garden here to continue the investigation. Need to do what we always do. Let's start in the shed. Yeah, something's different. There it is. Top wet, covered with mud and grime. The underside is completely clean and dry. Okay. And the tarp is wet and dirty. Let's get everyone's opinions now that we're out here. Hmm. Eleven o'clock. Serious. At nine o'clock. Mm-hmm. It may be a small job, but that's something he can do without straining himself. Let him have it. Hmm. So, in other words... Oh goody, we need an alibi. That we absolutely, positively do not have. In other words... This is bad. Hmm. Very bad. And it's very likely Kyoko is the one dead. That's right. Yeah, it's not an alibi. <laughs> That's monumentally bad. Yeah! 
Oh, there's no blood left. Hmm. Kind of. Yeah, no blood on the ground, huh? Okay. And we're down a chicken. Four chickens now. We're missing a chicken somewhere. What? What? Pardon? Conspiracy. It's a jigsaw puzzle. I don't think that's catastrophic, man. So, you know, one less chicken in the coop for some strange reason. That looks kind of familiar. That knife looks way too familiar. Uh, you are just a little bit late. What's your alibi? All the way through the body. A very important project. Yep, that is definitely the knife that we lost out of our drawer. This is very bad. Tease you because we love you. Yeah.
fake nails, huh? And a massive tattoo on the back of the hand. So the lower half of the body is bone dry. Okay. Yeah, that jacket did not, um, survive. The body is now the blackened. Literally. Do I still need to examine? Oh yeah, sprinklers. Yeah, the sprinklers turn on at 7.30 every morning. So if the body was here before then, the sprinklers would have gotten it wet, but yet the lower half is bone dry. Yeah, gotta figure out where that little fragment comes from. And find out if indeed that was Kyoko that decided to attack. Even if something about that picture just doesn't add up. If we get into Kyoko's room, that would help. It's all clear now. What? Just give up. Not what we need to talk about, man. Sadly, we are. What? You know, I'm inclined to think that Monokuma has just rigged all of the food with stupid pills. Well, not all of it. It's random. Okay. Hmm. Goodbye. So we need to talk to him and get him to let us in her room. But later. Like I said, it's random, and we've we, being the lucky students we are, have not eaten any of the food with the stupid pills. Let me go here. Except for that time we decided we just couldn't share the uh, spy's identity with Kyoko. We got some then. So yeah, there's where our little fragments around the corpse 
came from. And now that we've done that... Yeah, even the basketball. So now let's see if we've done that. Now let's see if he will let us in the room. Let's go. Convenient that her room is like the first one in this series. Thing to say? Come on. Yep. I'd say this probably counts as something happening to Kyoko. the sheets that that's your grand message that's it really okay what well let's check under the sheet shall we Class 78 Student Registry, Murkuro Ikosaba. I see. Hmm. I'm glad you didn't say that out loud. So she left us a clue. <laughs> the ultimate soldier? Huh. Kyoko thought she was the ultimate despair. Something's off. She was writing for military magazines in elementary school. 
and disappeared just before middle school. Never found. And just reappeared. Huh. She joined a group called Fenrir. It will be explained later if you don't know what Fenrir is. And just went off to go get trained in battle. So you know the name. Why does that make way too much sense? That he would know the name of an elite military unit? Naturally. Battle Crazed Warmongers is a good name too, I guess. The hero's becoming a bit player, and the bit player's becoming a hero! Again, this is not a perfect translation. The translation actually mentions protagonist and NPC here. In the original, it's more, you know, the protagonist is becoming an NPC, and the NPC is becoming the protagonist. Yeah, kinda. It's you. Someone did set up us the bomb, so, you know. Wah -wah. What? Yep, we found a profile. Hey, come on now. And Cat says hi. It doesn't matter if we close the door or not, I'm pretty sure Monokuma can get in any room he wants at any point in time he wants. So he doesn't hold it against her, huh? No grudge over that, huh? Yep, no rule against stealing. Well, Cat, if you want my attention, you've got to be over here. What? I don't know if you can hear the cat. But the cat is mostly just sitting there staring at me while it meows. So yeah, Sakura did break the rules and break into the headmaster's room. And Monokuma is not soft and cute, sadly. Now the cat's been fed. The cat just wants attention now. That's what the cat wants. Drag her corpse out here and slice it up and eat it. Thanks for that, game. What? And yeah, Monokuma does seem a little strict. Hmm. Has to follow the regulations himself, huh? Okay. Hmm. 
Depends what you mean by interesting, but go on. <laughs> oh? The one writing the rules is one of the participants? Huh. That's... That is interesting. No, you didn't. Hmm. Hey, um... Yeah? In other words... Yes, indeed! There are 16. Huh. And say hello to that again. The sixteenth student lying hidden somewhere in this school. The one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. <coughs> so she's a part of this, huh? Not just laying in wait. Because it's confusing. <laughs> hmm. Yes, indeed. Well, now. Oh, that's not good. So she wears the gloves to cover scars. Huh. So, huh, not a lot of scarring on there. Spit it out, man. Hm. That's right. Maybe, maybe. He didn't actually say that, did he? possible hmm. something seems off here hmm. what it's all clear now Hmm. 
That is actually a very good point. So, in other words... Hmm... Well... Interesting. What? Thinking back to how Taka died and what Hafumi did. Hmm. It's certainly possible. Hmm. Yeah. We need to take this to the dojo and see what's hiding there. Let's go. Anything bad? Hm. Apparently not. Plus, it had a sig big six engraved on it. That's right. Hmm. Arrows. Hmm. Titanium arrows. Wadded up ball of bloody duct tape. Huh. That's interesting to have near all the arrows. I see. And I do believe. Very strange. Very odd. A lot of things are odd. So why was the key in Kyoko's room? Why? Oh, yeah. We need to go look up Finrear. Let's go. Yeah, surprising he would know this archive that well. Hmm. Let's annoy him, though. Ah, uh, fine, you spoil sport.
Hmm, that symbol. Document in French, huh? Yeah, I didn't take French either. I took Spanish. And don't remember much of it. <laughs> An elite fighting unit based out of the Middle East. Fierce group who engage in direct combat. Claim that a single member is equivalent to an entire company of soldiers. Just like Fenrir, the Wolf of Ragnarok, their mere presence is enough to strike fear in an enemy. Involved in countless military battles. And they completely ceased all activity some time ago. Present, their continued existence cannot be confirmed. Unconfirmed reports, key members of group were all neutralized. They were killed to keep them from revealing the many state secrets they were. Huh. Or they simply imploded. What? I would imagine, to an average person, yeah, that does kind of sound like something you run into only in video games. Hmm. <laughs> Exciting is a word for it, yes. <laughs> yep. Again, it depends on how you define interesting. Each soldier gets a tattoo of Fenrir somewhere on their body. Okay. That seems relevant. silent, and yet it constantly assaults us, organisms, the earth, natural phenomena. This has been Deep Thoughts by Jack Monokuma. It damages us little by little until the end. You should really think about that. Hmm. Anyway, it's time to begin the class trial! Yeah, we knew where he was going with that. So, please meet up in the usual spot. <laughs> See you later! Hmm. Yeah, making him do the uh, ice bath challenge would be kind of interesting. Although he'd probably call Makoto out afterward to make Makoto do it. That's right. And thus, the fifth trial is set to begin. Hmm. Uh. Researching? Hmm. Yes! Oh, please don't get jealous. Please. Huh? That is possible too. What? So, we're waiting on the bear? Don't tell me something happened again. Why? Could it be? Hmm. 
Well, at least he's here. Does he literally just pop out of the ground or something to keep scaring you guys like this? In other words, till everyone's here, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, no. And yes, she's still alive. Of course, he's going to think she is a ghost now. This is going to become a problem. ominous in the least or anything. What the hell do you mean by that? <laughs> he is the bear who says This does pose a small problem. God damn it, Yasuhiro. Please listen to her for once. Let's go. Are you sure you'll be happy with that? Because it generally means someone else dies. And considering I'm prime suspect here, that's not a good thing. So she went to the past the gated area, huh? Interesting. That's right. Whew. So Who lucky you? So it can open any lock in the school. Very interesting, that. Just a second. Makoto. Good plan. Goodbye. 
Oh, no one left to talk to. Blinded by the light. 